We're talking about turkey hunting, trying to teach people the basics of how to get started. Right now we've got a panel blind set up. Generally what I like to do is, is have a little bit of cover. I, I can shoot over top of the blind, but when I'm calling, it's covering the, the movements. So if I have my pot call, it covers my movements. If I have a diaphragm call in my mouth already and a bird comes, I can actually get up onto my gun and get ready to shoot using my diaphragm call. This panel blind works great. A couple of stakes up front here, a couple of stakes here with some guidelines. I can um, set this up at an angle so it covers a little bit of my, uh, my concealment from the side or I can open it up a little bit wider and I can get a second person hunting out here with me. I've placed two decoys out in the field. I've got a hen off to one side and I've got one of my favorite decoys is a funky chicken. What I'm hoping will happen is turkeys will probably come from the side, one side or the other, following this tree line, following some cover. But I also want my decoys set up in a place where they're out in the open, they're in view. Tom turkeys want to be seen, they like to strut, they like to be seen, but they also like to be near an edge where they can run to cover in case they see a predator. So what I've got set up is I'm on the edge of the trees in concealment, I've paced out about 15 yards and I set up my decoys. That Jake decoy is facing towards me. If I get another uh, young Tom or other Jakes that come in and they want to battle that scrawny looking Jake, they may come at it in a position where they're facing that Jake head on. What that means is that their backside is towards me. If I haven't already mounted my shotgun or drawn my bow back, it might give me just that couple of seconds that I need to get up on to mount or to draw back without that bird seeing me. Particularly if you have a strutting tom and its tail fan goes wide out, that's gonna cover his vision behind him. And that's my opportunity to get set up if I haven't done so already. This setup is a pretty basic setup. There's all sorts of ways you can set up your decoys. You can set up your blinds. You can go without a blind and just conceal yourself. This is a great setup. In conclusion, this is just a start to learn how to turkey hunt.